Hey guys, so welcome over to some Cossacks. Sorry I'm a couple of days late uploading this. I've been uh, doing a bit of private playthrough as Burgundy as you can see here. Just getting used to the mechanics bits. I'm not completely new after the, uh, the press release came out. But yes, I'm going to be playing with a random new world. I'm not going to show myself a new random new world. It's going to be a complete mystery. And the aim of this series is to try and find it. I'm not going to play to the max and try and min-max every last thing. Like go off and take all the promises in Europe or whatever. I'm going to play as Castile and I'm going to try and take over the new world, whatever it is. I was going to do a bit in Europe, but I'm not going to do it the exact same way as everyone else. There's been quite a few Castilian or Iberian playthroughs that usually do the exact same thing. Like friendly with Portugal, friendly with Aragon, inherit Aragon, press a button, get the whole of Aragon. I'm not into that. One thing you'll get from my, um, my uh, channel is I like to do things differently I like to try and be more f I'm, I like to give you a reason to watch I'm not exact I'm gonna not gonna do the exact same of everybody else I'm gonna perhaps even take over stuff like Portugal I'm gonna I've got a plan for Portugal I've got a plan oh sorry something stuck in my throat but yes no something that some people have been having a bit of an issue with is getting an Iron Man mode firstly all you gotta do is press play and you'll be playing in Iron Man mode Jim's cannot be locked in this oh right and there we go I had my Lucky Nation stuff on what's called random for when I was doing my private playthrough because I like to do that private. Yes, there you go. Your game will count towards your leaderboard scores and achievements can be earned. So let's go ahead and let's play as Castile. Castile is a very good nation to start off. You're safe. No one's exactly going to attack you for any reason. So, you know. Let's load in here and let's see what we can do. And I'm going to implement some new rules. One rule, I'm not going to ally France. In my Ravensburg and Hansa and Navarra series, I usually ended up allying France. They were usually, like, in a good position to ally, but not anymore. We're going to be uh, not doing that anymore. We will, however, do other stuff. Not sure what. Aragon has rivaled me, have they? I wasn't going to allow you anyway, I was just checking. So we need rivals. We're going to rival France, obviously. And one thing I like to do is I like to get all these exactly the same. So I won't do, like, uh, Morocco there. I have to do Morocco here. That's how we work. That's how we roll. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, no. That's going to irritate me so much now. <sighs> Why? So, yes. We start off with no diplomacy. No diplomacy, so I need a friend. I think Austria should be my friend. We should be bros, Austria. Not really uh, up for it just yet. So let's go ahead and improve relations with these bros. And let's do something. Um, so I want to go colonizing. Um, expansion is a admin idea and exploration is a diplomat diplomatic diplomatic idea so I need to go for diplomacy first we need to get diplomacy on the bulk which means diplomacy go for it also get whoever we can better relations over time diplomatic reputation rough go for that uh, admin you're also very important let's go in and get you our income let's us get all the guys we need so we'll go in and get one of you as well and for service modifier don't mind if I do also go for um, an idea Finish Reconquista, that is the best one to be going for. We'll get all you guys to here. And yes, we'll have a look at allying the old Austrians as soon as we can. We're already doing new relations. But who else? Who else would keep me safe? I mean, we got you guys over there. We got you guys there. We got you guys. Oh, exactly. Portugal, I think, is more of, a, more of a target. So let's go ahead and get Covert on you straight away for stuff like Porto. And because I want to be keeping my admin for my tech, etc. later on in the game, because I need... I need to be able to get up to this stuff fast. I need to get through my admin tech so we can get the extra ideas. So I want to be not spending my admin straight away, but I do want to be taking over this land. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to release Glissia. is going to be my bro. is going to get down there and do it. Now that brings us to estates. These guys don't think they have enough power, the clergy. So we're going to go ahead and give them something. I don't know what. 
that. Sure. Also rises the autonomy. The lowest autonomy you can have with one of these guys is 25. Let's just have a look at these guys. So we're not really getting that many bonuses from all of them. We want to have extra here. So we need to get up to the green. You have the red where they do negative. You have the yellow where they do just the average. And you have the green. We need 60% loyalty. So we can go ahead here and we can call them DX. It costs us 5 prestige, but definitely worth it for that land maintenance modifier. National tax modifier, we can't exactly get the next one up, so we'll just go ahead and leave that. But yes, these guys... These guys are good. Make our recovery speed... Yada yada yada... Yep, if loyalty... It says loyalty's down there. It's below 30 you don't want to be, and that's the red. Yes, yeah, so let's get our men together, and let's see what we can do. Also, what we can do with these guys, we can uh, make them march and stuff. I don't want to. Let's get rid of Portugal, but yes, Nevada... Let's go ahead and get that. Well, I like to Nevada. What we're going to want is for vassalization. Hostile attitude. So we want to go ahead and fix that hostile attitude. Setting a gift will help initially. We also have this here. We can't manage our attitudes because they're our ally. Other people who are not our ally or anything. So we want to go for there. We are hostile towards you. Not only that. But we claim all of your lands. Nope, that's that's your nation. We claim all of it. This is all of vital importance. We deserve it. Let's go get it. You're also vital importance. And so is the whole of Portugal. The whole lot of it. Vital importance. Oh, yes. We need to get up to a point where we can uh, vassalize Nevada. So, we've already done money. So, we want to get relations up. Fairly. I need to wait until the 14th of December, so we'll go ahead and uh, raise the speed up. There's nothing exactly happening just yet. If we can snipe Novara before France, that'd be very good. But I do still need bros. Maybe somebody strong like you. Burgundy. We're not friends with Burgundy. That gives us a big, powerful ally because he has one, two, three, and four... Uh, three are personal unions, one is a vassal, they are all very powerful, so of course that is a good guy to have on your your side in case, I don't know, France comes knocking. In my private playthrough I did take on France as Burgundy, which was very fun. So we're going to start to improve relations and we'll accept this here. We're going to run this up to 141. So soon we should be able to vassalize these guys. It'll already take, we just need to get 190 relations. Shouldn't take too long. To get that high. Our army is only 20 men. We do have a navy. Let's see what we got. We've got five of these lot. Let's get them protecting trade in. Sevilla. You guys, you got a few heavies, you got a few of them. Just sit there. So our income is primarily from taxation. Do a little bit from trade, but not that much. Also, our force limit is 30, so we can get a lot more men. Not only that, but we can get mercenaries. We can afford all 10 to be mercenaries. I prefer mercenary infantry because, you know, mercenaries. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Let's only go for 8. And we can still definitely make money. Now, what we have here is automatically raise maintenance during war. So we'll go ahead and put these mothballed at first, and when war starts, they'll automatically be up. Also does the same for your troops. So if I really lower my troops all the way down, just make sure we make that money. But yes. Royal marriage from Burgundy and Galicia. We'll go ahead and take both of those. Because why the hell would we not? That's going to bring you an issue with oh, too many diplomatic relations, isn't it? Diplomatic relations. Now, where on earth can I find that? <laughs> Stuff's moved. They've moved stuff. It's going to be hard to... Whoa. We appear to have force limits issues here. Supply limits. Let's get these men uh, to La Mancha. 18. 18. 22 men to do it. So we have some men to Madrid is all good. So do I have... I do have claims on this stuff. We have a truce until 48. 
So wait until 48 before we even do anything. They are also friends with no one. Portugal is friends with Aragon. Ah. So I have to take on Portugal and Aragon if I wanted that land. That's a bit of a bugger. I'm going to take on both of these guys. Even if I do get, like, Navarra on side. That is a big issue. Big issue indeed. Also, why is it not showing recruitments here? Show me my armies. It does show me recruitments. Oh, it's only so because they uh, they took attrition. Once we get another couple, so let's go ahead and do that. The reason I'm doing it all in one province is I'm not going to be using the men straight away, so the longer it takes to get the men out, the less wages I'm paying. You know, even if it just saves me one ducat, half a ducat, it's still profit. Profit's good. That brings us to something else. I now have a claim on Porto. But I do not intend to take Porto because I want to save my admin. So what we do is we go to our subjects. We have Galicia. What we can do with Galicia is we can grant them a claim or a core. So grant them that. Now Galicia has a claim on there. Very good. Now Vada, how do we get you up? proclaim a guarantee of their independence gets us a lot closer which is very nice Austria wants to be our friend yet Austria is either to uh, France okay so that's not going to happen anymore it's a bit of a bugger yes yeah, so we need to get to people who dislike you lot oh, who would that be Savoy is a potential friend but no we seem to have cut ourselves off here. That seems to be my kind of gameplay anyway. I don't care so much. We need to get into a position where we can take on Portugal without Aragon and England both together. Navarra would not join, Burgundy would not join. Because they do not owe me a favour. If they owed me a favour, maybe they'd join, but then they wouldn't be able to come through France anyway, so... This appears to have this peninsula stuck. What did they just do? They just allied France. Of course we're not the biggest fan of that. We need to get something going on here. Offer of military access. That's 187 and I'm up for this tick. 89. So by the time I can, we should be able to offer the vassalization. This next tick here. There we go. We'll get this vassalization. Steal Nevada from France. That's 5,000 men for us. Sweet. Say goodbye to France. A new update in this is I can actually build troops in my vassal's land. So there's no longer we lose all your land. Be stuck in your vassal's land and not be able to re raise an army. I think it costs more. But yeah, it still exists. So there we go, we've got two vassals. Just got to um, wait until we can take over this. And then we'll be happy. Not only that, we also want to try and take over stuff. Yeah. These Dan Portuguese. They've got 13,000 men. Whoa. Don't mind if I do. Yes, yeah, so what can I spend that on? Only a fort. We don't exactly have many forts, do we? One and two. We need something else, I think. Yeah, a fort around there would patrol all this area, which we are going to be fighting at some point, I believe. Let's put a fort in Sevilla. Why not? Why the hell not? You got money? May as well build a fort. Disputed succession all over the place. That is crazy. Including Milan. So are you saying if I married Milan, you haven't got an alliance with Milan, it's an alliance with Milan, and enroll marriage to Milan, which they will take. If they get no legal heir, then I can do something with this personal union mechanic. Not something I'm familiar with, but it's something I want to get familiar with. But yes, we need to get people like us more, like Burgundy, our good friends. Got our relations improved, good sir. But there has to be a way to get favours, but I am going to be missing 
It just has to be a way. Also, so you guys are allied to Mantua. You dislike all of them. You guys are allied to Brittany. So it looks like Brittany would be a ideal friend for me. But how many diplo relations do I have? Where is it? Ah, four or four. Yeah, so we cannot do another one, and it's a shame. We could do another one if I really wanted to, but I don't really want to. Brittany would be nice if we have like 10,000 men or something, so. Yeah, but let's just not. Also, where is that fleet? You guys go home into war. Also, I should have been fabricating more claims on you the whole time, should I? Porchy bro. Reverts from kids' claims on that place, good sir. Now, Aragon is allied to Portugal, Genoa, and Venice. And probably be more more worse than the others. It's just over a year and we can actually go for Granada as well. So go ahead and wait for that. And try not to spend any admin or such. If I did really want admin, I could of course ask like these guys for their points. National tax modifier. Make a generous donation, it will increase their loyalty, but not by enough. So I could balance this out, like pay them for 100 or oh, just for 50 admin. Support that, we'll lose me uh, stuff there. Ask for a contribution. Grant models be charter, so we'll lose, they'll gain influence, gain loyalty. That will lose them loyalty. So I could gain that bit of money, give them uh, an opportunity charter, but we don't need to do anything yet. Maybe I do, I'm just, in fact, would that get them to 60? No, get them to 50. So ultimately we have no issue with that. A new monarch, you say? Does that affect your alliances? No, they're both very happy to join. England, not so much. If we increase relations with England, if that's even possible, we could get an alliance with the English. If they liked me too much, we could. We could try and get them to not join Portugal's side. But then they're all the way over there anyway. Maybe they'll go to war with France. And then France will help us out in that regard. Maybe. We'll see. The goal, however, would be to take out you first. So try and take him out, then go and siege to Portugal. Portugal is a very big rival in the colonization game, so we do need to be uh, keeping our eye on that. Is that land straight away? No, yeah, that would be silly. How do I get you guys to explore? I need the explorer, of course. Of course. Oh, so where's that Sevilla fort? We done 19th of November, 48. Our truce runs out probably a lot sooner than that. So there's no need to worry. Also, if I had my army on full maintenance, would I be losing or gaining? I'd be losing. So obviously you want to gain... Well, oh yes, of course I have gold, don't I? Oh yes. There's a bit of an issue. The girls. But yes, as soon as these guys are ready to go, we'll attack them. Also split you up. I don't know what that button does. Maybe that's the raise button for hordes, and I can just see it because, I don't know, I'm a bro. Let's get these armies in positions. And we'll just wait for the time. You would attack that, you would attack that, you would attack that. Oh, he does have friends with, ah, just Tanis. I doubt they'd really want to come over and help, but yeah, let's start paying the army now. We have plenty of cash, so there's no need to worry. And we'll just wait for the end of the year. When Shrews comes out to play, eh? Turn a blind eye. Nobody will gain that, or nobility will lose. Oh. One base tax for land maintenance modifier. Grand general ship. They'll gain influence. We don't want them to gain influence. We want them to gain uh, loyalty. Raise levies. Gain all that manpower. You know what? Let's not. Let's get some more loyalty. 
And then let's end the episode. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you a lot next time. Bye bye. Wait, no. Remember to leave a like. Remember to subscribe and all that stuff. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.